Greetings, vinyl community people. It's Mike MGK Boston back today for a contest entry. This one today uh, from my friend Steve over at All the Worlds of Stage. He's having one. Uh, it's basically you have to show three um, Bob Dylan cover versions. And if you do have the original Bob Dylan albums, show those as well. Ironically, I have a ton of Bob Dylan stuff, but I do not have the three covers I'm going to show in this. I don't have the original Bob Dylan records to show. So that's that's unfortunate. But um Anyway, uh, I'll do my best to keep you entertained. And he also wants us uh, at the end uh, to tell us a, something nice about our mother. Uh, that's not hard to do. Lots of, I have lots in the vault of happy memories to choose from on that topic. So, um, yeah, but for, uh, speaking of other topics and something that's been on my mind and others in the vinyl community, uh, our friend Gary over at Physical Format, um, seems to be MIA. No one really has it pinned down. Well, I, I have pinned it down. Um, you, you, the folks that watch my channel regularly know that I am originally from Canada. So uh, apparently last night, just, uh, just last night, this is breaking news. Just, this is literally breaking news to find. Um, Gary, apparently there was a headline in the news up there. Man from Ohio um, begins successful run of shows uh, in Bare Naked Ladies Tribute Band. I said that right, yeah. Bare Naked Ladies Tribute Band. And the man from Ohio is Gary. And apparently he, he moved up there. Uh, I don't know if it's permanent. And he's fronting, uh, he's the lead singer for a Bare Naked Ladies Tribute Band. So I, I couldn't believe it when I saw that. But, you know, the internet, you can't believe everything you read on the internet. But um, So take that with a grain of salt. But um, yeah, anybody in the Toronto area, I, I don't know what they're calling the tribute band. Um, but I'm sure the name Gary is, 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 uh, is, is within that name. Um, yeah. So just to reiterate that Gary and his new tribute band. Anyway, moving into the contest, um, thought I'd dig into the three songs. So let's do it. Oh, so George Harrison, I know I said, I admitted it last time. I can't, I came out of the music closet and admitted that, um, I wasn't a huge Beatles guy, but I am a big fan of George Harrison. In fact, if I had to pick one Beatle, He's my guy. So this is, this is all things must pass, of course, from 1970, and this was a this is an original set I got it from a work colleague in a collection, um, a couple of summers ago. So let's see what song we're talking about here. There it is, right there. If not for you, Bob Dylan, and that was from Highway 61 Revisited, which, as I said just minutes ago. I don't have that original Bob Dylan record to show, but I do have this uh, original George Harrison to show. So that's, of course, from All Things Must Pass. Here's a CD box set reissue I picked up in the 90s. This was, of course, like I said, a 90s reissue for this one. Really nice, nice, nice package with this one too, and comes with a nice, nice book. See it here on the inside, all the lyrics. And it also has, to simulate like records, each CD is in its own its own case. So that's all things must pass. Again, George Harrison, the original of that 1970 and this repress from the 90s. All right. Speaking of the 90s, this is 1995. This is from the Voodoo Lounge Tour. This is half live, half studio. Uh, it's the Rolling Stones strip, stripped rather. And the song I'm talking about here, it's uh, like a Rolling Stone right there. And that that particular, uh, like I said, half of this is live, half of it was studio. That's a live version at the Brixton Academy in London. Uh, and again, like a Rolling Stone. And again, that's another one that was on uh, Highway 61 Revisited. This, this has a nice fold out on the inside, if I remember. Look at that. Dead Sea Scrolls of the Rolling Stones. All right, there's a bunch of photos of the guys. There's the picture of health right there. Mr. Keith Richards. Yeah, 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 there's Mick down on the stage. So yeah, pretty cool. This is a really good set. Uh, there's a lot, there's something for everybody. Crosses decades of Rolling Stones. Set list for this one. Um, yeah, and that's Rolling Stone stripped. The song on there, the cover rather, like a Rolling Stone. All right. Lastly, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, this is uh, a Grateful Dead. Um, very comprehensive DVD set of 14 DVDs. Uh, and this again, this was on the Shout uh, label. Shout uh, is a label for uh, movies, concerts, DVDs. 
it's a lot like the Criterion for any of my music, any music fans out there. They put out some really quality stuff, Shout does. They'll buy old TV series and reissue them on DVD, uh, VHS too, I guess, to a certain degree. I don't know who's buying those anymore, but uh, yeah, I have a few things on the Shout label on DVD and they're really excellent. So again, I'm trying to get to it here. So um, yeah, Rod the Happy Hippie, I think this was the show he was talking about from Three River Stadium in Pittsburgh, PA, July of 1990. And the song on this one I'm talking about here, it's just like Tom Thumb's Blues. And that is one of the very few, if only, uh, and I know a lot about the Grateful Dead songs sung by bass player Phil Lesh. Uh, Phil Lesh and Friends just announced uh, this past week they're going to be playing in Boston here at the Leader Bank Pavilion. That's an open-air amphitheater where I saw the cult last summer. It's right down on... Um, in the Seaport District, downtown Boston, right on right on the ocean, it's really 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 beautiful venue. Great great setup they have there. Not a giant venue, probably holds about four thousand, so it's not overwhelming getting in and out of there. So uh, I'm going to be getting a ticket for that for sure because it's it's either a Friday or a Saturday night. And again, like I said, it's just announced. I don't even know if the tickets are up yet, but I'm going to get a pair for that. Don't know who I'm going to go to it with. It's doubtful Patty will go to that with me. Um, maybe I can persuade my 18 year old daughter to go. We're trying to do a bunch of stuff together before she goes to college in September. Where she begins that next uh, part of her life journey. So again, it's uh, from View from the Vault. And this is a really good set. Rod over at Happy Hippie. Uh, if you don't have this, you should check it out. This is a nice book that came with it. Um, again, my wife, my wife got me this. There's a nice shot of the guys right there. Um, yeah, so my wife got me this exactly. It'd be 10 years ago this Christmas. I'm, I'm a stickler for dates. I always remember dates. Oh, there's that's a cool shot of uh, the late great Bill Graham, the concert promoter. Of course, ran the uh, Winterland Ballroom. And uh, yeah, that's a concert poster back there from the Winterland Ballroom, just a reprint right there. And that was a Bill Graham venue. All right, so that's the last one. I'm going to talk to the show there. And ironically, Steve, Steve over at All the World's a Stage, knows I collect postcards, and him and his wife. We're just recently in Portugal. I just got this in the mail today, Steve. So this was like, I can't put off entering Steve's contest any longer. I got to get going on it. This pushed me to it. Really beautiful uh, postcard. It's going to go in the wall of fame right now in the rotation. I just have them around the door jams in, in the room here. And I, I have a couple thousand postcards. I've been collecting them since I was a child. So I usually just rotate them. I'll have the same ones up for a month or two. Take them down, put up different ones. So uh, Jack from the Vinyl Martini, I've got his up here from Spain that he just sent me recently. So yeah, I'm getting a few from the vinyl community. Uh, and my friend Steve Harold too. Uh, I, I showed him in that VACPCLT thank you video last weekend. Showed the ones that he sent me as well. So thank you to all of you guys. And thank you to you, Steve, for taking time out on your vacation and uh, doing just that and sending me this postcard. I really appreciate it. Okay, so that is that is the... Um, part of the contest. The next part, you're supposed to talk about your mom. So my mom, um, of course, I'm originally, as you know, from Ontario, as I've said a million times. So nobody has shown any photos of their, of, of their, uh, their moms. So I thought I would, I would take it a step further and do that today. It's all mine are digitized. So I just printed these out. There's a shot of my parents, um, February, 1960. They were married in 1949, just after World War II. And uh, like I've said before, I was born when they were both, four, they're both the same age. My dad passed in 2016. My mother is healthy as, as anything, doing great. And she's in her 95th year. Uh, so I'll be seeing her later this summer. And uh, she's in Eastern Ontario in my hometown. So um, she's doing very well, um, takes care of herself for the most part. And uh, she's in a retirement home, but it's a place where you have to be able to walk around you, and, and you have to have your mind. And she has, uh, she, believe me, she has her mind and she loves to read. Reads a book, a book a week at least. Um, likes watching Wheel of Fortune and doing that kind of stuff. So there they are, though. Sharp dressed, right? So back in that time, I mean, my dad would wear a tie to go to the supermarket. I mean, I call that the Mad Men era where people actually tried to look presentable in public. These days, sweatpants, is, sweatpants passes for formal wear. You know, it's, it's, it's a joke. But anyway, there they are about six years later. Another Christmas shot in 1966. And here's, this one's hilarious. I, I had... A lot of recent ones to show, but I thought I'd show this one from the early 90s. This is just classic. There we are. Uh, I remember we were going to my cousin's wedding, who's since divorced. Uh, the irony. Uh, this was in 1992. I was just at a university, and um, I had all that hair. Look at that. Eh? Times change, and hair falls out and recedes. So there we are. Um, I don't know. My mom. My mom's 
Looks like she's looking off camera. Someone has distracted her. She looks like someone's making a joke. Either that or she's just looking away from my, my tie. She doesn't like it maybe, I don't know. But again, that's from 1992 and that's me and my mom. All right, and uh, something else. Yeah, so like I said, um, my siblings though, I do have two siblings, I didn't say that actually. I have a brother who's 12, 13 years older than me and I have a sister who is 18 years older than me. So my sister, I was born in July and she went away to college in September. We never actually, we barely lived under the same roof. Same, same kind of same thing with my brother a few years later. But anyway, um, so I, I was like an only child, like by the time I was five or six, just living with my parents. So I, I get the benefit of going on some great trips. We uh, started going to Florida for March breaks. Um, and we used to go to this place, Cocoa Beach. Uh, this is a Cocoa Beach. This is a, just a brochure from the Cocoa Beach uh, Pier. And um, so we had many great March breaks going to Cocoa Beach. And um, I was on a cruise with, with my wife and daughter Oh, probably seven or eight years ago and it was a hurricane and we were supposed to go to Bermuda and we were diverted instead uh, to the Cocoa Beach area so that's where this brochure came from so a great memory of those trips we used to take in the 70s mid to late 70s into the early 80s um, stopped going when I was in my early part of high school I was doing other things and my parents started to go to other destinations and then eventually though when my dad retired they they had a had a place down there and they used to go in the winter time um, when the cold weather came and they, they would, after Christmas, they were out of here. We were, my dad would be like, we're out of here. We're off to Florida. So we had many great years there. And we also had a family cottage on a small lake in Eastern Ontario where we would spend the summers. So uh, yeah, lots of great memories. And again, yeah, I'll be seeing my mother later this summer. So she's doing great. So anyway, shout out to all the moms out there and uh, Mother's Day, which is tomorrow. So as, as Steve said in his video, call your mother and say hello, tell her you love her, all that good stuff. So, um, yeah, so Steve, great contest. It's great to see so many people are entering it. Who doesn't like, um, if you don't like, like Bob Dylan, there's lots of great covers of his songs. So there's, it's a really good, easy contest to find content to put a, an entry together. So do it, folks, do it. Enter Steve's contest. I'll put a link to Steve's contest in my description below. If somehow you don't need, know Steve's channel and you're watching mine, please check it out. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. We have what I would call an early summer day here, even though it's technically still, still spring. So, uh, yeah, um, I'm going to get outside and enjoy it. So anyway, folks, I will see you next time.